Hello, so in today's video, I have collected uh, a bunch of different trades to that Disney Kitty trading group on Facebook. The link's going to be in the description below if you're interested in pin trading. Uh, but I thought I would show you all the different pins that I got today uh, through pin trading. All right, so here they are. There's a, a couple different bags to open and go through. What's going on, Mag? Do you want to open some pins? Is that what, what's going on? Huh? Great, open some pins. All right, so I had opened these before I actually started shooting this video, but I really want to thank Jen and Tracy for trading these pins to me. I'm really one more step closer to completing the set. So I got King Candy, the Evil Queen, and Melissa Fint. All right, so this first uh, set of pins that I've got came from Felipe, and I learned the lesson to always make sure you check in the bag before you open it or cut because womp womp and I really wanted that because I've never been to Disneyland but I cut the map so so nice note and let's see what we've got so I really need to figure out a better way of opening these and showing you guys the reveal but um, so these are the pens that I got from Felipe uh, he included a map of California Adventure I really would like to get to Disneyland sometime and check out both those parks. Uh, but I got the Sword in the Stone, Lord Frollo, and I also got, I can't remember her name, but the evil stepmother from Tangled. Alright, so next up from Rebecca, I got the People Mover. We'll get that out and take a better look at it. This is awesome. Rebecca also included a Walt Disney World sticker as well as the close-up of the people maneuver. So between Rebecca and Felipe, I now have the complete set of Kingdom of Cute, so that is awesome. So thank you so much for the sticker and the trade. I appreciate it. Thanks, Rebecca. So the next set I got was from Becky. Uh, I got the Scrooge McDuck Hidden Mickey, and then Flynn and Rapunzel. I got that for Hallie, and Scrooge is for me. I still need a couple more ducks to complete that set, so please let me know if you would be interested in doing a trade. But Awesome trade. Thanks for the trade there, Becky. Next up is from Richard. Uh, this was actually purchased on eBay. Uh, he was moving and sold a lot of his older pins. The only thing that I'm really hoping is none of these are damaged because he used paper towel instead of wrapping them in bubble wrap. Always make sure if you do trades or sell, you spend the extra money on bubble wrap. Paper towels are not great for packing. All right, so these are the pins that I received from that eBay lot. Um, so I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed in what I got. Um, just a PSA, guys, please make sure if you're shipping pins, always use bubble wrap. Paper towels do not work. Um, Jafar got a little damaged there. He scratched up all down the side. Um, but let's get a closer look at the pins. So first up, I've got this Dixie Landings pin. I really wanted this pen because we stayed at Dixie Landings back before it switched over to uh, Disney's Port Orleans Riverside. Um, but on the back there you can see it's the old 2000 logo. So that's a really cool pen. Uh, next up, you can still get this today on the Disney Store. Uh, little Frogs and R2. Um, love this pen. I thought it was really cute. Next up we have the Evil Stepmother from Tangled. Um, I got that for Hallie because she loves Tangled. Uh, next we've got Rolf, which Rolf sort of saddens me, or makes me sad rather. I got this pin on trade back when we were there for our honeymoon and Rolf had a dippy eye. Um, so I decided to get this one, but I think that it's also a scrapper because you can see the paints going over the little outline there on the chin. Um, and there's a couple rough edges as you can see where it's been punched out. Next up, we've got Captain Hook, which I love this pen. Really happy to get him. It's from one of the original sets back, way back when. So, happy for that one, too. Uh, couldn't resist getting a Jessica Rabbit. Uh, the seller was moving and was selling a lot of his pens. So, uh, let's get a look at the back there. So, it's an old silver back there. Uh, again, here's Gaston. Sorry for the shoddy camera work today. Um, so, his face, or his eyes don't really look right to me, but oh well, it's still a cool pen. I, as you probably can tell by the themes, we've got a, 
we like villains, so. But that really bums me out about the scratches there on Jafar. I'm gonna see if I can buff it out, but I doubt I can. But there's the back, it's an old 2002 pen, so that makes it even more sad that it's damaged, because it's gonna be hard to find him. So, just guys, make sure you use bubble wrap. And last up from my friend Christina, um, she traded my mini handbag for Hallie's Rapunzel handbag, so she's really happy about that. And she even threw in Pluto, so really happy about these pens. I really thank you, Christina, for helping me out with that trade, and I look forward to making several more trades with you and transactions here in the future. All right, so those are all the pens that I received today for this pen opening. So I realized after I opened all these, I'm missing one more pen from the World of Evil. So I need the villain from Fantasia, and that will complete the World of Evil. Uh, with the People Mover and the Sword and the Stone, I've now completed Kingdom of Cute. Uh, still looking for a couple more Disney Ducks, but we've got Rapunzel and Flynn. And then my eBay villain group. My Dixie Landings pen, Rolf, and the R2 and Progs, and then the Rapunzel handbag and Pluto. So thank you everyone that traded with me, and definitely if you're into pens, check out Disney Kitty Pen Trade Chat. The link will be in the description below. So those were all the pens that I had for this week. Uh, if you like this video, definitely subscribe for more pen content and different adventures that Hallie and I get into. I want to thank everyone that I traded with uh, through the Disney Kitty Trading Group. If you love trading pens, definitely check them out. I also want to apologize for the shoddy camera work. I definitely need to invest in a better tripod. And then finally, I'm I really so, I'm sorry about preaching about the bubble wrap. Um, just common courtesy. Uh, always make sure you package your pens in bubble wrap. Uh, that way, they don't get damaged during transport. But I really enjoyed the pins that I got. Hopefully you did as well. And this has been Rob from The How Adventures signing off.